but what I am is I'm trained as a scientist and a practitioner. So what I'd like to do today, what makes this program a little different, instead of just giving you the knowledge, the paper knowledge, hey, do this, do this, do this, it really doesn't work. It truly doesn't work, actually, and you get bored. They were laughing by the end of the night, and that's how I got into teaching meditation. They said, forget all the other stuff. I was working in psychiatry. I have a PhD in nutritional biochemistry with critical functions of mind and how nutrition really affects the mind. So all the work that I do is based on the mind itself. So I teach medical practitioners. This is my second week here with the government, or the DOD, I guess, Department of Defense. And I love it so much now that I want to switch because you guys are easy. And I say easy, you're very kind. You really are. It's the kindest group of people I've ever worked with. So for me, I was just happy to be here. And that's what brought me here. I'm here to meet your needs, not my needs. So if there's something, and once I opened that up, I was surprised it was the first class I've ever done with the DOD that everybody spoke. Everybody in the whole class was, was talking, laughing, etc. They felt, I don't know what it is, I don't know how this class will be, but what I'm trying to say is, I'm here to serve you. If you need me to do something or solve an issue, that's what I'm here for, not to do my curriculum. It's really not about that. It's really not about me. I'm here to serve. You serve us. You serve the whole country. And I'm here then to serve you. And that's the way it should be. So the first thing is what I, what I do, and I'm known for this, where science meets practice. You could be a scientist. You could be all in your head. But if you don't know how to take that knowledge and put it into practice, it's useless. I will give you the science, though, because then you'll know the why. You want to know the why. You don't want somebody to just tell you, oh, sit and breathe. Well, I would say to somebody, well, why? And if they can't give you the why, run. Run for the door. Everyone should know the why. Why are you doing what you're doing? I'd like to give you the science behind resilience. I'd like to give you the science behind your brain, the science behind stress, and why it might be a reasonable idea to start building resilience. And what does that really mean? Is it the same resilience you see on the internet? I, I don't think so. You have to really, or herbs, there are herbs for the brain. There's many ways to build resilience. And it's really an, interact, an integration of all of that that builds resilience. I'm going to give you one part in directing the mind-body spiritual matrix uh, from the nervous system. And I'm not teaching mindfulness. I teach focused awareness. Because mindfulness needs to be brought into focus to get a complete program. We're going to go with the science and the practice. And we're going to know the why, what it is, and how? They're the three questions that have to be answered. Why do we do it? What's going on? What it is that we're doing? And then how to do it? And if you don't have a precise, scientific, systematic way to do something, you're never going to do it. The other thing I want to talk about is resilience does, is a fact. Resilience starts in the mind. You can't address the mind directly. You have to address it through the body. Because the mind and body are one. The mind actually manifests the body. How does, what do I mean by that? Well, the mind, the way you think, will actually determine how your body functions. If you're tense, the body tenses. If you're relaxed, the body's relaxed. I'd like to impart the knowledge that you're going to need to build your own resilience training. The practices are going to be in a systematic format. It's going to be in a five-step systematic practice that works from the outside, so from the body, working all the way up into the mind. Meditation in general, the word medi, M-E-D-I, Meditation means to attend to. We attend to the mind field. We attend to beyond the mind field. We attend to our body. As a medical practitioner, we'll attend to the patient. Meditation attends to the self. And so when we have those concepts in mind, we can actually begin our journey towards resilience. It's as simple as that.